Hey guys, Tech Manny here, also known as Matthew Rivera, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can upgrade your Max RAM. And this one is very simple to do, and you just need a few things. And it's just, I cannot express it enough how easy this is, so let's get started. I'm a DJ Okay, so before I begin, this computer is an iMac mid 2011 um, i5 processor and here is the specs. And it's only 4 gigs of RAM and with Pro Tools and from me working with a project, Pro Tools wasn't great. It was giving me all these errors and I was working on a project for school and that's what caused me to work on this and get the RAM. This computer, the computer's RAM is only 4 gigs and it doesn't do a lot. And the first thing you'll ever need for this Mac is of course the RAM, specifically for this model, the PC310-600. You need that specific one and make sure it's the small ones like these. This one is just, <laughs> I ordered the wrong ones that were made for a desktop and you have to order ones that are laptop and as you can see i got two of them which equals 32 gigabytes of ram and i will put the amazon link in the description box below for the ones that i got these these exact same ones and this is what you'll need if you want to upgrade your mac to a 32. then the second thing you will need is a Phillips head screwdriver. Now I did this one and it was small because of just the precarious spot this thing is at. So that's why I'm using something small, not something just clumpy. So these are these are the products that you need is the two two cases of RAM which equal 32 and the screwdriver. Now the access port for the RAM is in a precarious spot, so I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, so you grab your Phillips head screwdriver and you unscrew the three screws. Now, as you can see, I was struggling with the middle screw. Screw The person that had this before put it in too tight. So I used a much bigger one for leverage and I just unscrewed it just a little and then used the small one, Phillips head screwdriver to undo it the rest of the way. Okay, so let's put this to the side and now you'll see three RAM cards or RAM sticks. Now you have to pull the ribbon and you have to tug pretty firm and don't tug it too hard and where I was it was really weird how to pull it and you will know when you do it right when you hear this a click and it's very nice to know that you properly did it right. And here is one of the RAM sticks. It's a two gigabyte. And moving along to the other side, this one is a little bit more tough because you're dealing with two sticks and you will hear two ticks or pops like this. And that's all you have to do. And you have to fiddle around with it. I didn't have any nails for the bottom one, so I was struggling with it and Here's one of them, which is Samsung. That's really weird. One gigabyte. And I got the other one out. And these are the eight gigs that I'm gonna place in. Now you have to remember installing this, the crucial or the sticker goes straight up like so. If you screw that up, you're gonna wind up either breaking the card or breaking something inside. And if you look inside, you'll see a little knot or a little indent. 
that will match up to this. Now when I was installing this, I was having trouble and I didn't know the amount of force that I had to put in, so I was very, very cautious of not breaking anything. I installed RAM previous to a lot of computers that I had and a lot of them made a ticking sound and it was very easy to install but I'm not used to a Mac only a desktop PC so I just re-examined it and slowly pushed it in and you will hear a ticking sound like that so let's install the other three just like so and as you realized i start from the bottom and move my way to the top that was i just figured out that it was much more easier on my hands and for my nails because i have short nails at the time now you tuck in those ribbons back into its spot which is pretty easy and once again you screw back in the plate that holds everything in. Let's screw in these three screws in now. Alrighty, make sure you screw these screws snug and in an even pattern. Don't over tighten them. Alrighty, so here's the old RAM sticks that are here. And I'm glad that I installed 32 gigabytes of RAM. So let's plug this in and test it. Now, knowing how a computer works and how these RAM cards or sticks works, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna speed this up and wait because the computer has to read the RAM cards. And overall, the computer took a while to boot up. So let's speed this process up. Alrighty, so it finally booted up and I'm going to type in my password. And while I was recording this and looking at it, I'm like, okay, this computer just booted up way faster and just like everything's so quick now. That was really, really, really weird. <laughs> I thought to myself at the time, no, this Mac is not an iMac Pro. I just like the color blue and just the overall appearance of the blue scheme and i'm taking right now i'm taking screenshots of proof that the ram does work and it shows 32 gigabytes of ram i did try zooming in but my camera didn't focus so that's why i also added these screenshots to show you that it actually does work Yes, I took a while to do screenshots. I'm a new Mac user. I don't know how to do screenshots. Before this, I had to go on my phone and look up how to screenshot, and then I forgot, so I had to... Anyways, here are the screenshots I took, and here's proof that there's 32 gigabytes of RAM, which I'm very excited, and when I use Pro Tools for my project, it worked absolutely flawlessly and amazing because also there was a video involved and I had to edit some dialogue and it went smooth and just 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 like silk and to show you that the 32 gigabytes RAM works is because I'm actually recording my screen right now yes I have this thing here I'm gonna add the video right here somewhere so yes, this is proof of me actually recording this. You can see record right here. And I'm using the Mac to record my screen and also just to record my voiceover and show you that 32 gigabytes of RAM is perfectly fine for this Mac. And also that 32 gigabytes will work. And when I tried using, and when I tried using Premiere Pro on this, it just wasn't working correctly and it just, no, it wasn't right at all. 
I did this video because I didn't see anybody record or do this properly and try doing research to upgrade my computer to 32 gigabytes of RAM. I just couldn't find anything with it. And also I couldn't find the RAM sticks that people use to install 32 gigabytes of RAM. So I'm glad that I did this video to show you and help you how to install 32 gigabytes of RAM on your iMac mid-2011 computer. Have you subscribed yet? If not, what are you doing? You should. When you click that subscribe button, there's something called a notification bell. And when you press that notification bell, you will get notified whenever I upload a video. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And this is the Tech Manny signing off. See you later, guys.